Good morning, plumbers. Good morning, YouTube. As you know, we do everyday plumbing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training my two sons, the plumbing trade. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Follow this journey as I train my two sons, the plumbing trade. Gonna be a long journey, but well worth it. Because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. And for today, we're gonna go back to the water filter job. We're gonna get to the bottom of why we got no pressure and see what the problem is and fix the small drip on the male adapter. We will see you inside. There's my little seeper of a leak. I'm gonna shut the water off, cut a slip coupling in there, press it back up, turn the water back on. It kind of forgot about it. There's, it's a seeper. Boop. We turn that filter off, coming back. Drained it out there. Shut, shut that blue valve off, Chucky. There you go. Right? I'm going to go extra Teflon this time. So you should mark both, both sides of the coupling. So it's right in the middle. Okay? So you have a gauge of where you're at. And you go back and forth, alright? So you should see both these lines just on the other side.
All the airs out. Let's just make sure that are bump for a second. Shut that blue valve off now and let's see if the gauge goes off. The leak is fixed. He's purged a little bit of water outside. All right, you open that up full blast, shut it off, and it goes right to 60. Now, I've been purging all the lines. It's a new system. I'm going to show you the valves out front. There's no equipment in yet. But today, both gauges are reading 60 PSI. I heard from some of the viewers, they think I might be okay. Now I'm seeing the gauges both reading 60 on the carbonated filters. But we're still going to make the phone call to tech support. I got CB2 bleeding the middle soda machine line. Let's see what happens here on the gauge. Dropping down, dropping down. All the way down. He shut the valve off now. And let's see if it builds back up. There it goes. It's going right back up. So I'm going to go with the viewers out there that I think you guys are right, that I think I'm going to be okay. I'm glad I got this shot. Hope he's doing it again. And there it goes, building pressure again. So guess what, boys and girls? I'm thinking this is a good setup. Here's our system. Three lines down low. The three up top are for the ice machines. The three low ones are for the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. And CB2 is purging them. And this low one is for slush. Slushy. A slushy machine. Hold back, hold back on that. Lights are crooked. <laughs> CB2, it worked. It built pressure right back up. Now it's back on 60. For the people. Who's your daddy? Come on. CB2 is hooking up the third line. Right now, I am running the water in the floor drain out the future location for the soda machines. I'm purging it as we speak. And she's holding 40 PSI on the hose bib, which I have cranked down pretty good. And I got the water, I've been bleeding it this whole time, and it's holding it like 40 PSI. Shut it off one time, let it build pressure, give me one good blast, and then just shut it off. Okay. And we're going to confirm that everything's okay here. I say it's good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Coca-Cola is coming next week. I believe the system is good because they're long runs. But after we ran, got all the air out of the water line itself from the filter to the actual unit location, which is roughly, I'm going to say, 80 foot runs that the system was working. Fixed the leak. Soda company is coming next week. 
so we will confirm which I believe we're good according to you guys out there and I appreciate your input and thank you Makita man uh, you reached out to me on the filters and I forget the other gentleman's name I truly thank you guys appreciate it and I had a good feeling going back to the job today that we we're gonna be fine and uh, I believe we are it's not been confirmed but I feel confident that everything is good. We thank you and we will see you with the next one.